Okay, I'm going to show you how to install Macrium the right way. And I don't mean, uh, I'm not going to go through the download and all of that, how to go to their website. And you, you know all that. You can figure that out. But I'm going to show you how to avoid bloat, slow to, uh, bloat. Let me slow down. Uh, show you how to avoid bloat, how to avoid slowing your computer down, how to avoid having a bunch of excess baggage in your operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and, and run this just um, right off of a thumb drive, actually, and do this installation on a Windows 10 machine. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do some uh, housekeeping. Now what I'm doing here is setting up a brand new Windows 10 machine. So one of the things I like to do when I set up a new machine with uh, installing an operating system is immediately make an image of the machine in its virgin state and just keep that somewhere. So that's what I'm doing now. And I do that by installing Macrium. That, it's, it's still my favorite imaging program, being that they have this free version, which does everything that most of you are going to need. So here's one of the first things you want to do. In Windows 10, you want to go to Task Manager. They've moved the startup from... Uh, and you want to disable Macrium Reflect in your Task Manager. Okay, and so now you need to go into your taskbar settings. Okay. And over here, make sure we're on... Should be already be on taskbar. Okay, and then we need to go down to... Uh, select which icons appear in the taskbar. And we got to find Macrium in here. There it is. And turn that off. Mine's already off. Uh, because what's going to happen here, this is where you're going to get these annoying update notices. They're just going to keep popping up down here in this corner. Macrium, hey, update. Macrium, hey, update. Macrium, update. Oh, just drive you nuts. Okay, so you got to kill it there too. Okay, then you want to go to services, find the uh, Macrium service and double click it because you need the service name exactly as it is. So you can actually just copy that. Okay. And in a command prompt, run as administrator, type SC and then paste in the name. That will delete the service from uh, the Windows services. Focus. Come on, here we go. Actually, I guess you have to say SC delete and then have that on there. And there we go. So we deleted the service. Now I've got one more thing to do. Go to your C drive, go down to your program files, go down to Macrium, go down to Common, and then all the files in Common uh, rename those uh, as old. You keep the .exe and then put a .old. Okay, as you see I've done here. That'll prevent the exes from running. Now you need to go into the reflect folder. Okay. And there's a file here called reflect updater exe just add a dot old to that. So you need to get rid of that too. I don't know how to do it. So now what you've done is you've just prevented Macrium from running in the background as a service every time you boot your computer. Unless you plan on doing an image of your operating system every single time you boot your computer, <laughs> you don't need that, okay? We killed the service. We killed the uh, automatic updates that are going to continually uh, nag you to get a new version of Macrium. We uh, pretty much got rid of all the bloat and background noise that um, Macrium is, is const has constantly running in the background of your computer. It just bloats your computer with unnecessary traffic and garbage and slows down your computer. Now, as far as Macrium itself, 
it's still happy and it still runs just like it would. You just call it up on demand and there it is. And when you're done with it, it just goes away and it's not in the background running anymore. It's, you're done, it's done. So that's the, how to install Macrium, in my opinion, the right way. Macrium's perfectly happy, no problems. We just eliminated all the unnecessary extra baggage that comes along with it. It will nag you to death about updates and it will continuously run in the background if you don't do all the previous steps. Oh, and so by the way, when you start up Macrium now, where is it? There it is. When you start up Macrium now, even with all the stuff you did about the updates, it will, see? It's going to ask you if you want to update anyway. You know? So, you don't really need all that junk, all that traffic in the background. Unfortunately, more and more software vendors are doing this. Their goal is to have their software come up quickly when you click on it because it's already running. Well, the problem is you end up with 300 things running in the background. Now your whole computer is slowed down. Not, it's just, you just, you know, ah, what can I say?